So we are using the snail mail, or the stamp set is called Snailed It. And um, let me move that so the camera isn't shining, or the light isn't shining on it. And you see you've got these really cute snail images. And also, of course, the coordinating dies. In addition, in this particular suite, there is a designer series paper. And um, I have used this paper, so I just have like bits. I don't have full sheets at, um, of everything. And so you see that one side you've got the snails and you also have some cute mushrooms and some little post, um, postal images. And then on the other side you have similar sort of images. But let me show you how these, actually I'm gonna set that aside and then I'm gonna show you how these work with the dyes. And then in addition to th in this suite, you've got the Blushing Bride and Whisper White Twine, which I have found these to be really useful for using with many of the other suites, particularly like the hydrangeas. They uh, work well with that. And then you have these really adorable, tiny little resin hearts. Some of you have used these in class and you know that they are very small, but they're just absolutely adorable and um, they come in white and in the red and again these can be mixed in really easily with any of the other sweets as well doesn't have to be just with the snails of course now let me show you some of the cool things about the papers and the dyes so you have um let's see i don't know how to put that so you don't get a big shine on there you have the outline dyes which of course go around your images so you've got the three dies for those. You also have the one for the little speech bubble here. Um, and then, as well, the dies fit around some of the papers. Let's see if I can find the right ones. I mean, some of the prints on the papers. Oh, I should have practiced that. Oh, it is that one. Okay, so you can just cut out the images right out of the papers if you maybe are in a hurry or uh, don't enjoy coloring, then you've got them right there and you can just use them as is. And let's see, and this one here, the little speech bubble also fits around these prints. So you've got some ready-made sentiments as well, which is quite cute. And then another fun element, let me find the paper. Oh, I got it here. Another fun element in this set, you've got this giant postage stamp square and you have some little mushrooms and hearts but we also have this adorable envelope and then a little piece of paper or a little letter that fits inside the envelope and one of the prints in here is the lined paper I don't know I remember using paper like this when I was learning how to write cursive I don't know if everyone had that experience in primary school but then you've got some little paper printed that fits inside your envelope as well and all of those are stitched which is quite adorable. Okay, um, I think that's everything I wanted to, oh, there's one more thing. This little funny rectangle die, that, I've had some people ask about what that's for. That fits around this envelope here, and this one is, fits with the postage stamp punch, which is a separate uh, purchase, or you can use it as is, but that's to cut out that little envelope there. Okay, so if you have any questions, leave those for me here in the comments. And if I don't see them while I'm talking, I can answer them afterwards. So this is the project that I want to do with you tonight. I wanted to move away from the snails, just so that I could show you some more versatility, that there's more than snails in this set. And also wanted to show you this fun background. There is a sample in the catalog that does has a similar sort of background and I've had quite a few people ask me how they did that so I wanted to show you how they did that so I've used the die that I showed you that is a little piece of paper that fits in that cute envelope and I've just um, die cut that out uh, about 15 times um, and and then I have adhered that onto a sheet of whisper white which gives you this really great background. I mean, we love our embossing folders, but this gives you like actual texture plus those little stitching lines as well. And, it, and I did, chose to put it on in like a brick pattern, but you could put them on, you know, this direction or however you wanted to put those on. 
I'm actually going to move that out of the screen for the minute. So then from there, what I'll do is adhere that onto a piece of real red. So this white piece, in case you want to recreate this, is um, three and seven eighths inch, no, sorry, I take that back. It's three and three quarter inches by five and one eighth inch. And then the real red piece is three and seven eighths by five and one quarter inch. And we'll go ahead and put that on so it's just a little bit larger. And then I have created a Sahara sand mat. I really like the combination of real red with Sahara sand. You can see I'm using the edges of my dimensionals here. Um, might as well use all the bits to your dimensionals and we'll put that on. And then our, my card base is is uh, five and a half inches by eight and a quarter inch. Okay. Then the next thing I want to do is put on my little um, uh, tag or flag, I should say, or banner, depending what you prefer to call it. And make sure your hearts are going the right way. Now this is from the snail mail papers. As you can see, you've got those cute mushrooms on the other side. And I'm going to use my banner label punch and slide that in there and just punch that down nice and quick and easy and before I tie that or before I adhere that on though I'm just going to tie a little bit of that white uh, linen thread or not linen thread the white um, I'm just looking for my adhesive my children have been busy making various things and my stuff seems to be going missing a lot um, the white twine. I'm just going to wrap it around and you see I put a little adhesive on the back just to hold it in place. So I've got it about halfway and I'm just going to wrap it around here and then wrap it around here and then I'll tie that. So it's wrapped around a few times and then we'll tie that into just a little bow just to add a little texture to this. There we go. And um, twine is quite easy to tie because it doesn't have to, you know, go in a certain direction like, like ribbon tends to. And it's like tying a shoelace. It just kind of can go either way. I mean, any way it sort of lands. And then I'll go ahead and use some adhesive and adhere that down. And I'll just put that right up to the top of the red. Okay like so. And then I have cut out, I mentioned that there was a big square postage stamp in that die set. So this is that and it, it's so adorable. And then I'm going to stamp the, um, the mushrooms on a separate piece of uh, basic white, sorry, and then we'll color those in. Now we don't have a Sahara sand marker. So I've used ivory and real red and gray granite, which between the ivory and the gray granite, you're getting kind of that, that neutral look already. You could also use crumb cake if you wanted to. Now I'm not going to color in the whole thing, but basically what I would do, oops, wrong end. I prefer the thin end of the markers. I would just color in some of the dark gray granite down here where the shadows would be and then grab the light one and fill in the gaps and you just keep going and putting more and more layers on until you can't see any um, line between the two shades of that color sort of a thing and then with the ivory i use that to color in the leaves now i know the leaves aren't really this color but uh, i think it looks cute when it's all done because all the colors just kind of tone in together. And hey, these are cute little toadstools. They can be whatever we want them to be. And then I used the real red to color in the toadstools. And then I used the dye that in that set that I showed you and cut those out. And you'll get something that looks like this. Now I'm going to stamp my hello on here before I put my toadstool on. And the hello is also, everything is from this set. Let's see, and I'll put that kind of up here 
there in the corner, and I've just used memento black for that. And then I've put uh, dimensionals on the back of the mushrooms. If you're cutting it out, you might as well put it on with dimensionals so that you get that full effect of it being a separate piece. And then I've even uh, had it off the edge there so that you can see it's a separate piece. And then we'll go ahead and put that onto our card front. And it looks so cute against this little kind of brick background. And then I wanted to put some of those hearts on if I can find them. So these little red hearts, I thought that was just a cute little splash of red right there up at the top. And then inside the card, we'll do another layer of the real red and whisper white. And these are the same sizes as those front pieces. And we'll just adhere those together. And this time I'm gonna use the die cuts, the little uh, toadstool die cuts. You could stamp that some more inside if you wanted to, but I wanted to show you how cute these were as well. So I've just done those in the same Sahara sand and real red. So this stamp set, uh, this bundle I should say, is more than just snails, although I like the snails too, but it's also the toadstools and a lot of kind of postage stamp and mail sort of stuff, um, sort of images, which is, are quite cute. And I've got some more samples to show you because I want you to see that really cute envelope as well. There we go, and then I think, I think our card is done. So that one was really quick and easy. Now be sure and leave me a comment, and I'll send this one that I just made to some, some lucky commenter this week. And let me show you some other samples with this set as well. So this is one that uses more of the colors in the suite, the pinks and the yellows and such. And this one actually I didn't make. This was made by one of my team members. We do swaps with each other so that we all have different samples to share. And this one is also using the Stampin' Blends. And here's that adorable little envelope with one of our cute clasps. So that's a fun little card, and then just some cute hearts in the inside. And then this is one that I did at my open home, uh, seems like months ago, but it was really just weeks ago. Again, just using that square postage stamp and the little cute resin hearts. And then inside, I've done that adorable envelope with the heart. And this is the little piece of paper I was mentioning earlier. Isn't it cute? And then you can stamp on there or do a even a little handwritten note. Um, they're just adorable. And here's another one, just a really simple gift card. And this one, I wanted to show you um, how you don't have to use those papers. Um, and you could even go away from the snails and the toadstools altogether. And I used the actual the Playful Pets papers and used a little cat print in the background that adorable little envelope. And that, those papers actually have, I don't know if they planned that or what, but they actually have a print that has these little cat cute words on them. And so I just cut out a couple of those and tucked those in the envelope and used the heart dye and a little bit of twine as well. And I thought that just makes a, just a really quick and cute birthday card for someone who loves cats or, or their pets because they do have you know, um, dog prints as well. And then this one is one that I shared a few weeks ago, but I'll share it again because this is a scrapbook page, obviously, as you can see, using the paper balloons uh, papers. But I did incorporate these little envelopes into the layout as well. So they, um, and then used, did some of my journaling stamping on there. So you can see these little envelopes in and of themselves would be quite useful for your, your projects. So if you have any questions about this or anything else, please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to answer questions and chat with you. And thanks for joining me this evening. And thanks for all of your kind comments. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.